some of the things you do in that regard? You know, just growing up, being around football all the time, you know, I don't remember a time where I didn't know football. So um, just growing up with football 24-7, you know, talking to my dad is the greatest resource that I can pretty much ask for. Um, just talking to him every day, you know, it's really uh, helped me in kind of understanding the game and understanding different coverages and assignments that I'll need to know. Um, you know, it's been a great help having him for advice. So, I mean, that's really helped in uh, my game. Sorry. Just what, uh, when did you start playing football? You talked about never not being around it. Just kind of when did you start? And I started playing tackle football when I was about uh, six or seven. You know, the mighty mighty leagues. You know, big old helmet, big old shoulder pads, <laughs> running around not knowing what you're supposed to do. Um, you know, I just remember running around with my friends. You know, that was that was the greatest time when football really isn't anything more than just the game to you. You know, it's just something that you go out with your friends, throw a football around, try and get the ball across this line, you score. So, um, you know, that's that, those were the greatest times, just running with your friends, and that's really the earliest um, football memories. Now that, Kurt, now that Kurt and Vegeta and Jacob Johnson have moved to defensive end, do you think you have an advantage on the, the linebacker spot next to AJ Johnson? You know, it's not really in my, uh, you know, I can't really control that much. Um, it's all about what I can do to, you know, make myself better and you know whatever happens happens if um, people get moved around they get moved around and you know it's all about what I can do to better myself and you know improve my my abilities in the weight room and in the classroom and um, everything so you know I have that chance to, to play and um, you know help the team. Dylan how old were you when your dad or mom or whatever first said there's this Tennessee football this orange stuff uh, you know what, what do you remember about that you know they've really never pressured me into anything Tennessee football I remember uh, growing up in Florida since I was eight we had a hurricane one year and we evacuated and had to come to Tennessee to visit family and we went to a game against UNLV I can't remember what year it was yeah. um, but really that was the first time I've ever been in Nail Stadium you know looking around everybody wow this is the biggest stadium I've ever been in and you know just walking around the you know, stadium in the campus, seeing my dad's name everywhere, you know, it kind of stuck in my mind that this is something that I want to do, and this is somewhere that I've kind of fell in love with. But it wasn't like, you know, he's constantly, this is this is where your locker could be, this could be your number. Eight. No, no, <laughs> he, he really never uh, pressured me into anything. He never kind of urged me into, into anything. So, like, during my recruitment, you know, he, he – uh, took me everywhere. We, you know, we visited Alabama, Florida, you know, Ohio State, all these different places. So he did a great job of, you know, giving me a chance to look around and really explore my options and uh, make my own decisions.